Hello everyone, my name is Brent Halber. I'm with Absolute Overhead Garage Door Services here in Elizabethtown in Louisville. I'm on location at a customer's home in Vine Grove, Kentucky. Um, in recognition of Garage Door Safety Month, we just want to go over a few basic things that you can check yourself at home uh, to make sure that your, your operating system is working like it should. Um, there are a few basic things on your operator. Uh, the first one would be your sensitivity settings. Um, they're basically there uh, in case your door starts to shut on something or if something with the door is not working properly, if your bearings are, are binding up or there's any kind of obstruction or resistance, your operator should detect that and should automatically reverse. So the easiest way to test that would be to activate the door either from your wall control by the entry door to the house or with your garage door remote control. And then when the door starts to move, you should be able to grab the bottom, bottom of the door when it's in motion. And with very little resistance, it should automatically reverse and your lights on your operator should start flashing to let you know that there's an issue. So we're gonna check that. We're gonna show you how to check that. As you can see, this one reversed like it should. Um, one other feature that you can you can test at home would be your safety beams. Uh, all of your garage door systems are up to code. Have sensors that are mounted down at the ground level. Um, and if anything is breaking that beam, your door door should not uh, should not close. Or if, if a child walks through there, it should reverse and go back up. So. working properly it reversed when I broke the beam and the lights are flashing if you ever see that give us a call and uh, we'll, we'll come out and check it out if you can't figure it out yourself we'd be more than happy to, to help you uh, thanks for watching today and be safe